I'm Jennifer Angel. This is a snapshot of your horoscope for the coming week, Scorpio. Now, right opposite you, uh, your sign is your solar seventh house, all to do with relationships and intimate relationships. Venus is sitting there at the moment, and so Venus is the planet of love and money, um, goddess of love. So to have Venus in this position really highlights that love can just touch you a little more closely and a little more intensely. Now as luck would have it, Venus has a lucky aspect with Jupiter and Jupiter is a planet of, of abundance and expansion and that's sitting in your soul and ninth house so it's almost like your inner dreams and wishes, your, your, your soul and your spirituality. It's also an area of foreign affairs and it's also an area of, of greater higher learning. Um, of a philosophical nature. I don't think I said that word correct, but um, and also, you know, learning of universal laws and um, just higher learning in that sense. But a great time to take on new studies if you're uh, learning a language or going out with somebody from a foreign country, then take this opportunity to, to learn a language. So it's very good under this aspect. But uh, if you're traveling, travel and any business to do with foreign affairs, and as I said to somebody earlier, um, if you, you know, you can, with the computer and the internet, you can do business anywhere in the world from your corner of the world, okay? Uh, so this is a, a beneficial aspect for relationships, money, travel, foreign affairs. So um, Mercury is retrograde still, so you have to be a little bit careful of the arrangements that you make. Make sure that you follow them through. Don't don't make any assumptions or assume that, assume that somebody else has picked up the ball. They may not have. But all in all, great week. Have fun, Scorpio. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.